They call me Big L.A. Big Silly. Big Money. Big Billy. When I'm sliding in the market, you hear me? Alright, lesson 5-2. Solving systems using tables or graphs. Alright, we have Katie and she sells cookie cakes. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're 12 inches in diameter. They're just beautiful. $4 for the first cake. And if you buy more than one, each additional cake is $3.50. Now, Andrew is uh, Katie's competitor, and he's a shrewd little bugger. He is going to sell gob cakes. Now, gobs are those fluffy little things that have cake on the top and the bottom and inside they're filled with cream filling. His aren't as big uh, in diameter as Katie's but they're three times as thick because of the gob icing inside. And he sells them in pumpkin, banana, and devil's food chocolate. Five dollars for the first cake. But if you buy more than one, they're only three dollars for each additional cake. Now, Andrew is hoping to outsell Katie with his marketing scheme here. A little bit more expensive for the first one, but everyone thereafter is 50 cents cheaper. Okay, so there is, you know, if you buy enough of these, his is going to really be the better deal. Question is, is there ever a point here where they're going to charge exactly the same for a certain amount of cake? All right. So, we can actually solve this question algebraically. Minus one, okay, because the first one costs four dollars. All right, so all the ones thereafter are going to be sold at three fifty. Now, the same thing's going to happen down here for Andrew. All right, five dollars for the first one, and three dollars for the number of cakes sold minus one. Okay, all right, now we're going to do a little table comparison here. And we'll see, is there ever a point where they're both making exactly the same money? All right? So, if Katie sells one cake, her total income is going to be $4. And if Andrew sells one cake, his total income is going to be $5. Now, if she sells $2, or excuse me, two cakes, that'll be one cake at $4 plus um, two minus one, one cake at three fifty. So she's coming in here, she's bringing in $7.50. Now if Andrew sells two cakes, the first one will be sold at $5, and the second one will be sold at $3, so he's bringing in $8. So he's still more expensive for the first two cakes. Let's see three. At $3, Katie will be bringing in um, $3.50 more than what we had right here, so she'll be bringing in $11. And Andrew will be bringing in three dollars more than he had right here, so he'll also be bring. Well, by George, look at it just that quickly using the table. We can see that if a customer is going to buy three cakes, they're the same at either place. Okay, it'll cost the same. Now, if the customer buys four cakes, Katie's actually going to be more expensive because we have to add three dollars and fifty cents to the eleven which will give us $4.50, $14.50. And over here, we only have to add three, which will bring us up to 14. So from that point on, um, Andrew's always going to be um, less expensive. This is the point where they're the same. But if you're only buying one or two, Katie is the cheaper place.